things they can do. We've designed it and we've done this very, very quietly, but um, we're glad to now release it to the world, is this idea of teslapheresis, which is a discovery we made several years ago and we've been developing it. And teslapheresis is... The simplest way to understand it is self-assembly at a distance, just long-distance assembly of, of materials. And what we did was, uh, because we're at Rice, we had plenty of nanotubes around, so we uh, decided to use nanotubes. And what we discovered was that these nanotubes can actually string together and form wires by themselves under this electric field. This fundamental idea of... Uh force acting at a distance that you can have instead of you know when you normally build circuits and things like that you have to have physical contact now we're talking about building circuits without actually touching them all right we're just dispersing this power on and up i realized that a tesla coil could actually do this if you designed it in a way to create a very strong force field in front of it and so that was the engineering aspect of it. And then once I designed the machine, then all sorts of discoveries started falling out of it. Oh, that was a good one! Tesla Phoresis is one of those things, it's a project that there are just so many avenues, so many things that I think you can do with it. Not just making conductive wires, but taking it in so many different places, not only just biomedical and engineering, and, but taking it into different industries like silicone chips or... Um, exploring different conductive materials. This also ties in just generally in nanotechnology that self-assembly is very big. That is, if you can get things to build themselves, just as in biology, and we build ourselves. When my son saw it, he called them webs. You know, he thought it was like Spider-Man shooting webs out. And it really is. It's very much like a web sort of stringing out together. And that was a surprising finding. And the physics of that is actually a, a lot...